and you want some tinder or you go out camping this that, and the other and you want to just a big hot rock to move camps without having to use your lighters and stuff like that horseshoe fungus talk to me Oh, red and white, Santa's cloak, you know what I mean? It all makes sense, doesn't it, John? But, who knows? They could have been on Fly Garrix, they could have looked up and seen a flying reindeer, Santa Claus in red and white, when realistically they were just tripping the tits off. I, uh, in the middle of Bestwood Country Park, we have found a specimen flyer, Garrick. I... Right, what is up, guys? Welcome back to SlickTube. Right, today is a foraging with Slick episode. I'm absolutely marvelling. I've had to come to the cob van, get my stomach full before I go on a mad walk. I've got the dog over there, devil's lettuce, bag of tricks. Let's do this, Johns. I'm going to flip you around, show you the burger, please. Then we're off up there and we're going to go find some mushrooms. I'll tell you what we're going to find soon, but let's just get this food down before first I'm starving. Right, so Johnny's lot, here's my burger. Get me ketchup on it. Got my cheese cob for later up there. Got me a couple of drinks, my bag of tricks. So right, I'm gonna get the cob down there. Get up there, go find some mushrooms. Let's do this, Johnny's. Hey, so Johnny's, listen. I've had my burger, I'm feeling a bit more lively. Get out here, you! Come on! Dogs on a mission. But yeah, I've got my bag of tricks lot. Got my catapult, got me cheese sandwich, cheese salad sandwich, John. I'm gonna go find a good spot, sit down, smoke my devil's lettuce, then let's get on these mushrooms, John's. Aye! Right, so Johnny's, I've found a little spot where I'm going to sit down, have a little bit of devil's lettuce, and it's a perfect spot as well, because if you can see behind me, John, I don't know if you can, but I'm going to flip you around. It's a nice little spot where I found my first fly, Garrick. Dog's just come to appear to join me. She sniffed it out as well, look. So, yeah, let's get down. I'm going to flip you around. Let's have a look at this fly, Garrick, John's. Look, she's on it. She's on it. I'm going to go around the back. and try and get in. It's a bit worse for wear, so I'll pick. Let's get back to my spot. So listen, here's my first flyer Garrick I found to show you. It's a bit worse for wear, it's been it, been nibbled on. Been a bit like tortured in that. But look, you see at the bottom here, the Amanita muscaria, the fly agaric, they come out of an egg. They grow out of this little egg sac here, look. And if you see on the top, these white dots are the actual egg splitting. So as it pushes out of the egg, these little white dots obviously stay on the top from the egg sac. So yeah, them dots, that's what the dots are from. But there's a lot of things about fly agarics that I want to tell you. There's a lot of things I want to do with them this year as well. So yeah, this one's a bit worse for wear, like I say. I'm going to chuck it back, let the spores all spread and that for next year so I get more. But yeah, I'm on to the next ones. I've got quite a bit to show you today. I want to find the beef steak mushroom because she's even bleeding. I want to find a few of the bole family, all edibles, the orange birch bole. I want to find a couple of these fly garricks. I want to fill up a basket. I've got a couple of baskets and I want to show you what I'm going to do with them. Let me flip you around and let's have a little search, see what we can find. I've left my bag at the top. We're starting at the bottom. Let's have a little search around and see what we can find up to the top. Let's do it, Johns. Right, so Johnny's, like I was saying a minute ago, I wanted to find a couple of the birch family, the birch bole. 
this is an orange birch belay. Obviously, as you can see, the top bright orange. It's edible. As you can see, they've got foam underneath. So, like, instead of the gills, they've got paws. So, yeah, this one's not really the best to show you. Oh, it's not open. Dog's popped up again. But, yeah, I'm going to put it in the basket. Just so we can see the collection at the end of which ones I've got. So, right, there's the first one. Birch Bole family. Orange Birch Bole. It's a decent find. I want to find a couple more of the Bole family as well to show you. That fly Garrett because it was too nibbled. So there's the first one in the basket. Let's find some more, Terry. Right, so I've got the goodies. I'm going to cross over to the other side of the little bit. I'm deep, I'm deep up near the desert, Bestwood Country Park. I'm in my own little bit where you always come. There are, <coughs> I've been seeing them. Like I said, I just want to find some good ones. So I'm going to flip you around as I cross this little bit. See if we can spot out on the way. I want to get some specimen fly agarics to show you because I want to take them home and for a certain reason I want to use them for summer. I'll tell you, I'll show you but until I find them. There's no point, Terry. So let's do this. Hey, yeah, look. Oh, baby. I'm in. I'm in the bushes. There's a few little ones coming up right at the back there, look. But still, they're not what I need. So to tell you what, they can go in the basket anyway, because I've got a use for them. In the middle of Bestwood Country Park, we have found a specimen flyer, Garrick. I oh, look at this for a specimen. Someone still had a nibble out of her. Look. <clears throat> Let me pluck her. Get these little twigs off her. Alright, look at this. This is the sort of ones I want to find. And I'll start telling you why now. But I've just got to the other side. Like I say, this is some nice ones popping up. So I'm going to flip around, have another look for some more. The basket's coming on. That one can go in. I'm going to try and keep them as flat and as nice as possible. I'll tell you why. You see, that one's absolutely hammered. That's why it's a big one. But I'm not taking her. She's hammered. So Johnny's look, I've got them out, I've set them out a little bit. There's my orange birch belay, and here's my fly agarics. So I might tell you now what I'm gonna do with them, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them all a nice little clean, get all these bottom bits off, dry them out as a whole, and hang them on me Chris. I said hang them on me Christmas tree, Terry. I seen somebody do it last year, I got all jealous and that, so I thought I'm definitely doing it next year, and this is next year, so I'm doing it. But yeah, the, the myth, there's a myth around Christmas as well and Santa Claus with these fly garricks. The, the myth basically is, because back in the day, back, back, back in the day, we used to do trades, like countries where grew fly garricks, they used to do trades because obviously in the South Poles and in the, the cold countries and that way they never used to grow, they used to feed them to the reindeer. So we used to trade them. We used to trade fly garricks in sacks and sacks and sacks of them for reindeers. Then when they'd give us the reindeers, bam, we'd use the reindeers for either food, transport, whatever we used them for anyway. But they would actually feed the reindeers, the fly garricks, and then the, the reindeers inside would absorb all the muscomol. No, the, would absorb the toxins and just piss out the goodness. So they used to get nice, because obviously these I've got psychoactive effects it's not psilocybin it's muscomol so it's more of a drunk woozy feeling they are sort of magics but they're not as magic as magics so yeah but like i say they used to feed them to the reindeers the piss had absorbed they'd absorb all the stuff in the stomach and the piss would be magic so that's where the myth of santa claus used to come from flying reindeers red nose so fly garrick on the end of his nose terry red nose so fly garrick on the end of his nose terry Look, red and white, Santa's cloak, you know what I mean? It all makes sense, doesn't it, John? But, who knows? 
They could have been on Fly Garrix. They could have looked up and seen a flying reindeer. Santa Claus in red and white, when realistically it was just tripping the tits off. Aye. But yeah, I've got more basketed back up, and now I'm going to go try and find some other ones. It's the 8th of October today, and it's a warm day. Like, it's been a lot and lot of rain in the past few days. Oh, it's found another John as we're talking. It's a nice one as well. That'll go good on me Christmas tree. Beautiful. Quite humid. Like I say, it's the 8th of October, and it's just warmed up again. We had no summer whatsoever, and now it's coming at the end of October. That's the end of the fly garrick hunt. I'm going to move on to different grounds, up at the top a bit more. I'm going to go check on my beef steaks, see if they're still thriving, see if they're alive, see if they're dead, see if they're there. Let's just have a look. Whoa, another fly garrick! Look at the dog. What is it? What is it? She's fancying old. She's fancying old. She's fancying old, John. What is it? What is it? Find him, man. Good girl, find him. Good girl. But yeah, back onto the flat. Ah, got a phone in my hand. What is it? Find him then. Where's the flag Eric gone? Oh, she's there. Oh, they're there. They're everywhere. Yeah, they're looking dry. <clears throat> Look at them. I'm gonna pick a few of them. Oh, oh, come with me. Right, I think what I've got here, I'm not 100% sure, so I need a couple of my Johns, a couple of my mad mushroom people, to whack it down in comments. I think, because look, you can see the purple tint on them. They're not blueies, but they smell nice. They do smell a bit like Palmer Violet air, which blueies do smell like. I think the amethysts or something like that. Somebody get down in comments, tell me what these are. I'll put them in my basket anyway. There we don't mess about. It's bought two art, John. Aye! Right, so yeah, I'm going to put them in. Look, there's the gills. Purple. And they do smell nice. They do smell a little bit. Put them in baskets, are we? Right, so please, somebody get down in comments and let me know what these are as soon as possible. Right, another part of the Bole family look. This is an unusual one. It's got a round head on it. It's got the paws underneath. It's got like a reddish stipe. I'm gonna cut this one because I think it might change color. Right, so this is another one for my Johnny's here because I'm not a million percent on this. I know it's a part of the Bole family. Like I said, it's got the paws underneath, quite a yellow foam underneath, like a reddish orangey tin stipe. Right, let's have a look. No, there's no colour change, sometimes they can go instant red or an instant blue, so this one's got no colour change to it, so if any of my John's on here or any mushroom madman can help me, put it down into the comments, but for now she's going in the basket. <laughs> What is it? What is it? What is it? The dog's climbing the tree, Johns. What is it? Get in.
John's, look at these examples there. Look, I'm happy. I'm good. To, I'm glad to find these. Look, because they've got all still got the egg sacs on. They're all straight. They're perfect for me baubles. Going in basket. <laughs> right, Johnny's, listen. I've crossed over on him into the woodlands. Now, obviously, how you can see, there's trees behind me. But yeah, I'm in the woodlands. So I better start looking up. But yeah, there's bits all over. So in the woodlands, they can be on the ground. They can be in the trees. It can be anywhere. So just keep your eyes out. I'm aiming to look for my beefsteak mushroom. If you watch one of my last videos, you'd have seen the tiniest little bit just starting. Here's my dog. But yeah, anyway, you'd have seen the tiniest little bit starting. So that's what I'm going back to check on now. It's about a mile up there. I'm out of breath. I'm knackered. Nice bit of fertiliser for me tomatoes. But yeah, I'm going to flip you around when I get there. Let's see if it's even still there, if it's been et alive or if it's big. Let's do this, Johns. Aye! I think it was on. I'm not exactly sure because I can't see it nowhere. Can't even see signs of where it was. But I'm going to have another couple of minutes, have a quick look, see if I can find it. If not, I'll have to see. Oh, there's something else here, look. Just as we speak, John, we always do it. Two things. All right, this is the first one I spotted. Earth ball. Stipe. It's flat look, and it's supposed to be like that because I've seen them like this before. I just don't know the name of it. If anybody knows, whack it down in comments. All right, I told the terror. Find a bit of birch polypore. I'm taking your women. Medicinal look, nice fresh young one look, beautifully fresh birch polypore. You can use them as plasters, like I've told you on the old videos antiseptic properties I'm gonna make some tea with these oh but yeah basically I'm gonna go and make some teas with you I'm gonna take some of the fresh ones there's even one on the floor look oh that one's fresh as well it's a nice big chunky one now I met me a nice few brews they're going in baskets <laughs> Right, so John, do you see that there? Then I just released the puff to the puff bowl. That's the spores coming out. I'm gonna try and find another one and flip you around and show it you the other way. And I've spotted the specimen. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? All the different types of mushroom, fungus, all the different ways they've got of spreading the spores. It's crazy! Mental! But yeah, I hope you like, take a bit of informational knowledge off these videos. Like I always say to you, do your own research on any of the mushrooms. If you're thinking about doing anything with the fly garricks, whether it's Christmas decorations or any of the other, make sure you get all of the bad toxins out. Leaving the mus leaving the muscamole. Save the goodies, get rid of the shit. But yeah, always do your own research. Never ever 
Take my advice. Well, no, it's good advice, shall we? Gone and done it. He's only gone and done it. Right, listen, my beef steak one up there, was it? But kapow. Only gone and found another. And this is a different spot. I'm not going to touch this because it's, it's not big. I could eat this. I could take it. But look, it's a perfect prime example to show you. Because she's even bleeding. Oh. But yeah, I'm going to leave that. And next year, come back. Hopefully it spreads and gets more, more and more, inoculates more bits up. So yeah, I'll leave that there. At least I've found a beef steak and I've shown it you and it was bleeding and all. So yeah, it's quite a good little spot. Something to show you like, make you understand what the mushroom is. So if you see these certain signs on them, and it's like, that one the best. But like I said, at least I've shown you, at least I've found a beef steak, ticked it off my list and it was unexpected. So yeah, like I say, always do your own research. Most of the stuff I told you is right. I'll ask for advice, you know what I mean? Like I've asked for advice. If you do know any of the ones I've put in, please put them in the comments and then I can just do a little bit more research, can't I? <laughs> I'm at the top of the woods. I'm about to come out onto Farmer Giles' field. Let's see if his tatches are gone. Let's see if he's left me a few. But yeah, whilst I'm here, I might as well do it. I always do. Horseshoe fungus. And look at that. He's been obviously with his wind and that. It's blowing the tree down, look. And it's knocked me one off. Look, it looks like a fucking horse foot, Jan. Looks like a horse foot. But yeah, these are good. I'm going to put this in the basket. Because like I say to you, if you're ever travelling with a fire and you want some tinder or you go out camping, it's that and the other, and you want to just a big hot rock to move camps without having to use your lighters and stuff like that. Horseshoe fungus. Talk to me. Come on. You're knackered there, aren't you, Jan? This way. Good girl. Come on in. Right, look in yonder. Look in yonder. Giles has took me tarties. I'm out of the woodland, I'm out of the desert. I'm coming right up on the outside of Bestwood Lodge you now. I'm coming up into Mill Lakes way, so I've done a whole round, good, good, good few miles anyway. I've had some food, I'm starting to get hungry again. I've still got my cheese cob. But yeah, I'm gonna head over there to Farmer Giles' field, see if he's left me any tatties. Look at Giles' field. It's barren. It's dead. There's no rotator inside. Still you find a big one. Yeah, it looks more like a fucking root. I think I'll be leaving that one. Shows though, he's left a few lurkers around. To make a few chips, John. John's just on the way out. Look at this mad little field I found. It's got all sorts in it. It's got chard, it's got cabbages, sunflowers. Hello. In fact, I might even check see if the seeds are ready. If you are, I'm taking some. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Look at that, baby. Look at that. I'll be taking some of these, Johnny. Barry, look. Loads in there. The rat. Right. It's been a mad forest today, look. As you can see, I'm not messing about. I'm even taking some flowers. The mint basket. Right, Johnny's, listen. I'm done foraging for the day. The sun's out, October, craziest weather ever. Dry as a bone, but look at it, there has been some rain, so I did all right. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope there was a lot of information in there for you. I hope you've got some information for me on the other little ones that I didn't find. Like I say, whack them down in the comments. I'm gonna flip you around, put a bit of music on, let you see what I actually ended up like with. But until then, listen guys, like I always say, make sure you like, subscribe, share, do yeah. all that, Johns, and let's and get out here on these foraging missions. Scrappers and pickers again dropping tomorrow. So Mushroom stay locked, John. I am forgot about you. Hey!
Motherfuckers wanna go out picking the mushrooms. Yo, yo, listen. Yo, can I borrow him, please? I wanna go foraging, couple bears and a bit of gin And when I find them, yo, my head is twisted I'm walking up the fucking fields and I've missed them Shit, they're fucking everywhere, just grab them I need them as she go before the mosquitoes grab us And fucking sting us and then we're after swinging And the beetle motherfucker can see them Oh shit, yo, slick, calm down, you're talking so much mushroom What the fuck, I'm on my own in some mad room Hey man, I'm a dandelion, please sit down Yo, you're fucking crying, you've had too many, too many magic mushrooms Too many magic mushrooms You've had too many magic mushrooms Whoa, shit, what the fuck is happening? Shit, yo, I'm rapping and shit My arse cheeks are clapping in the flick of Shatmanson Motherfucker, quick, you better grab it and ring the 911 Shit, nothing's happening I'm in the middle of a field on my own Kind of rolling the snow I've had too many magic mushrooms Yo, shit, what the fuck is it? Is it the fucking Liberty Cap or the Flyer Gary? Shit, I can't grab it, shit, I want another bag it I wanna put it in my back pocket, shit, I'm sagging Yo, my face is sagging, droopin' and moopin' and poopin' and poopin' and poopin' I'm chatting shit at it, bit at it Ah, shit, my fucking voice I'm just quitting it, motherfucker, better shit it in my own pants are dippin' it Oh, shit